Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video and welcome back to Time to Untilt, uh, the series that we got on my other account that decayed from Diamond. And we're just getting it back to Diamond, that's simple. Uh, this might be nearing the end of this series, I'm not really sure. Uh, yesterday's video, uh, which I recorded just before this one, uh, there would have been a vote saying, hey, what do you guys want me to do? And obviously I'll be looking at that, and if it's the vast majority of people going, yes, go back on Climb to Master, then obviously Climb Bop to Master will probably be back tomorrow. Um, but if not, I'll probably just continue doing this until the account is at least diamond. You know, we are actually very close to be there. If you guys just don't want this series anymore, which is fine, and you want Climb to Master, I'll just get this account to diamond in my own time, um, to be honest. So, yeah. There was a dodge, I will say, in the Champions Select before this one. Um, I'll say, uh, can you pick me, Kane? I have Yorick. Um, there was a dodge before this one, and I did actually manage to get the cane. Oh, there's the Cho'Gath. Um, so hopefully I get to get him again. Ah, he doesn't have him. Okay, no problem. Hopefully he's not picked. It's not the end of the world if it's not picked, because Kane does currently have a terrible win rate. Uh, I will tell you the win rate itself is... Where are you, win rate? A 44% win rate. So it's a pretty bad win rate. Um, a lot of people are like, why is that? So I'd say Kane isn't overpowered. And whenever a new champion elite comes out, they either have a bad win rate or a really good win rate. There has been very few new champions in league that kind of just settle at that 50 to 51% win rate mark. Very, very few. The reasons for it is either they are weak or they are OP. Or it's that Kane I don't think is weak or I don't think he's OP. I think he's okay. But it's the fact that just nobody knows how to play him. I think that's pretty much it. We still get him, though, which I'm happy about. Um, but that's it. I think he's a fine champion. I think you do well with him, but it's just people learning of actually what you do on him, and that's going to take time, and obviously that's going to mean a lot of losses at the beginning of the game. As Just to kind of say, people who already have, which is really confusing, uh, the, the people who already have 100, 100 games on Kane have a neutral win rate. They have a 50% win rate. The weirder thing is the people that have over 150 games played on him have a 38% win rate. So the data's a little bit weird. So I have no idea. Like, you can't really go off that a lot, to be honest. Um, but there you go. Team comp's locked in. Both comps have some strong champions. I'd say the enemy team comp has a stronger comp with the Cho'Gath that, you know, last episode we didn't really show you why Cho'Gath is strong. It's late game. It's, it's all about his late game. And obviously they now have the Cho'Gath and also they have the Zac. So those are two very strong champions. Combine them together. It's going to be very hard to kill them. And what I would probably have said is that my AD carry, who has picked Jinx, probably should have picked a tank killer. Jinx can kill tanks, but she's not really somebody that usually builds Blade of the Ruin King. Or she doesn't have any abilities that do maximum health damage, like, say, a Vayne does or something like that. That's always very useful when you're beating a tank or wanting to be a tank. But without much further ado, we're going to be able to play Kane, who is the newest champion in the game. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you have some fun. Okay, so welcome to the loading screen again. Now, apologies, I don't have any of the artwork done yet for this. It's probably going to take me this evening to do it. Uh, but you can actually now see that stuff has happened. Uh, I have no idea what this stuff means, but there is a percentage. I, I presume that's an individual win rate. I, I have no idea. I'm actually going to have to learn this myself. Uh, but you can see that the enemy team has a 51.1% chance to win. And uh, it's Diamond 5, Diamond 5, Diamond 5, Diamond 5, Diamond 5. All Diamond 5s in the enemy team. And all Diamond 5s on my team, apart from myself, who is Platinum 1, obviously, but in promo to Diamond 1 on this account. So, yeah, a Diamond 5 game. Um, anybody that stands out with KDA. So, the Aurelians only played one game, didn't do very well on him. Cho'Gath only one game, did okay. Um, so, yeah, okay. I, I get the new... I'm kind of getting this new system. A little bit, because, uh, oh well, all that's basically not happened is my team's stats haven't loaded, but the enemy stats have, so that's a little bit weird. But without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Kane Jungle. Okay, one of the games today, we're playing Kane, obviously the, the latest champion in League of Legends. Uh, just to point out something as well that I didn't see in the loading screen, is uh, for some reason, Grasp of the Undying Thresh. Uh, yep, that's a mistake. Um, so, how's this game gonna go? I will say a few people did swap around, so, like, Cho'Gath was supposed to be jungle, Aurelion was supposed to be there, like, they, they have swapped around a decent amount as well. Uh, and as for what form am I going today, I don't know. It's gonna depend on a lot of things. Like, the thing is, Darkin will help more versus these two. Oh, how did you miss that? Oh, 
Ja. Why did you take that? Why? Q, 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 Q. No. Why did Bar take that? Uh, poor, poor. <laughs> that that would have been a completely free. Man. I don't know why he did that. He literally, you literally saw his, in his motions, auto attack. And my scythe was about to... <laughs> Uh, no kill. Okay. Again, kill stealing, it's not a massive thing, but if it's a free kill, like, but somebody say, oh, you could have smited it. Yes, I could have, but I, I don't want to use smite when I'm going to get ruined at the buff. Because uh, it was 100% a kill. And it was just kind of one of those situations that a bard should have just been like, oh, kane has got that. I'm going to leave it alone. But anyway, it's happened. Can't do anything about it now. All that I would hope is with this amp tome, randomly, they do really well in bot lane. If they get another kill in like a minute or two, then great. That's worth. But, yeah. Hopefully, that'll be fine. Uh, so, we haven't really started on the right side that I normally would want to as Kane. Like, starting here is just so free as this champion. Probably has the fastest clear. Or one, one of the fastest clears in the jungle, I would say. I'm pretty confident in saying that. Um, but yeah, Doran's Blade Yorick. Hmm. I play Yorick. Um, I haven't done a lot of him on YouTube, uh, for some reason, because I only really play him into two matchups. I play him into Darius or Jace. And I know people are going to go, wait, you only play one champion into a specific matchup? Yeah. He's really good versus them. Um, uh, just trying to think what do I want to do after this. Do I gank top lane? So how much lockdown do we have? Yeah, Bard should be playing aggressive with an amp tome, right? I love how there's a back and forth with these champ, like, like these two like figures, like just moaning at each other, basically. That That's great. No. I don't know how, like ah I don't know how Yorick got left behind there like a lot. I guess that he just didn't come for it, which you know fair enough. Wait what? No, oh, he died to minions. He died to minions. Ah. Oh, you need to land that. What happened, bot lane? They both died. How did they both die? That looked weird. Do you think he's around the corner? Nope. Yoink. Oh, he's under the tower. Damn, he's typing a lot. Like, this is the the point that annoys me slightly, is Bard did just take the first blood kill, which he, one, shouldn't have done anyway, and now is mucking up in the bot lane. It's like, ah, if I had that kill, I would have been able to just, like, buy crazy better items. So always think about why you're doing stuff. And I know everybody's like, oh, you're biased because it's you. Obviously, yes, I'm going to be slightly biased because like, I want the kill. But just taking out that bias, it's just smarter. You know. Hopefully, he'll be fine, though. Oh, God. Straight on a hook. They should be able to return the damage, no? No, they're getting wrecked. Oh, boy. Um, obviously, the difference between a BF sword and a cull. 
Not the good. Uh. All right. Um, I know I want to rush a black cleaver. Um, but I still want to just maintain my farm. What I'll probably do is go wraiths, or uh, raptors, whatever. Then wolves. Then the blue, and then maybe look bot lane for a gank. But I don't know. I don't know what we can really do down there. Um, if we can do stuff down there. Because they might just be too far ahead now. Jinx might just have to farm to get back into the game. Especially if they just keep dying. Again, it's just about it's just about not feeding. It's, it's one of those things. There's nothing I can say. How's Yorick doing? Yorick's doing all right. He's a very aggressive Yorick, though. D-blade into a sheen. Oh, and then they're dead again, aren't they? If you're wondering why I'm not running there, I won't get there in time to save her. All right, I'm on my way now. Zack is bot lane. He did it again. He. Did <laughs> it's not as bad this time because it wasn't 100% a kill, but like I think it. I think it was a kill. Also, they're tower diving Yorick, and he just ne he walked into a bush. He nearly got a two kills. I'm gonna go take his red. Ugh. Yay, that's good. No, I don't want to do dragon. I really don't care about that dragon. Uh, they're actually doing it. Questionable. Oh, I missed the smite. Damn. It was on, like, very, very, very little health there. Nah, it works. Do I do this now or do I do this after? I guess I do this and then do buffs after to maximize the buff. That's such a weird, like, thing. It just ports you back out whenever, obviously, combat. I'm kind of low. Like, I can't save that. If I walked in there, I'm dead. Um, buy that. And then that. I'm gonna go do red. Red's more important for me. And then we're, we're nearing our power up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go assassin this game. Like, not 100%, but I'm, I'm leaning towards assassin. Because I'm gonna have to kill that Trist. And I don't think Darkin is gonna be able to kill Trist. I just get that feeling. Nice. Ooh, close. Oh, I love the back and forth. Sorry, if I ever go quiet when they're talking. Sorry, it's just I want to listen to them. I love, like, the back and forth argument that they've got going on. Oh, she got hooked as well. That's four people mid. That wasn't great play by Lux. She kind of walked into that. But whatever. Thresh did flash. This bard makes me nervous. Ugh. Well, we might be able to kill them. Oh, Bard, don't suicide, though. What the hell? That was practically inting. Oh, I couldn't ult. Why couldn't I ult? That was in range. Oh. Oh. To me, that was in range, right? Like, I was spamming that R and it, nope. 
Wouldn't go off. He does look cool, though. I'll give this champion that. We can upgrade soon. Hell yeah. Hmm. Okay. How's top lane? Uh, so Yorick has got advantage, but he's not uh, got any farm advantage. Oh, if they can set up a kill there, that'd be great. Get the double, get the double, get the double. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That's messy play. Right, at least they get a kill in top lane, though. Uh, Zach didn't die. It was a good play turn south, basically. Just trying to save the tower. All right, let's go back. Uh, Yorick's doing good now. He did. He actually did get a solo kill, so that's great. We, that's what we really need from him. Uh, I will complete the jungle, I guess. And we're not ready to upgrade. Damn, I thought we were. I guess the circle might complete when you're ready to upgrade. Oh, can't get hooked like that. Oh my god. Alright, go, 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 go. Still had exhaust. They still had exhaust and heal. Tristana healed the Thresh and also they exhausted me. This game's gonna be really rough. A lot of this game is just people like not getting I don't know. They're not expecting to get jumped on, and then they get jumped on and get killed, and they're like, oh, I died. It's like, uh So far, you can definitely eat what well, easily tell that this Tristana is quite aggressive. It's how they won the bot lane. And yeah, well, you can kind of see it. Four deaths in total. Well, eight deaths, sorry, in total with the bot lane. It's like, eee, that is rough. Right, let's go Shadow Assassin. Why not? Let's have some fun. Uh, I probably should have shown that in the video. Sorry. I wasn't really paying attention to the actual transformation. I wanted more just to kind of look at what Cho'Gath was doing. Um, This game is still winnable. It's just going to be rough with the bot lane. It's, it's pretty much that. Like, if, if they continue going, like, you know, 0 4, if they go 0 5, 0 6, etc., I don't think we're going to win. Oh! Shoo! Why is he just randomly there? Okay, that was cleaned. I was like, did, that, did he actually complete that camp? Yeah. Apparently he did. Oh, there it might be top lane. Uh, Jinx. Uh, literally what I said, like, if they keep going 0 5, 0 6, then I don't think we're going to win. And that's just basically up to this um, Jinx if they just want to play smart or not. Pretty much that simple. I'm trying to look where Tristana is. Like, is she coming here? Nah. Uh... Man. What can we do? We got the smite off. Sweet, what well I don't know where Aurelian went. Trist is still bot lane. Cho'Gath? No, we can kill Cho'Gath. That's an Aurelian behind me. Oh, I didn't see him. Good play, Jinx. Okay, she did a good thing. But then Thresh came. Then Thresh came back top lane to kill the Jinx. Oh my god, this is such a fiesta. So much death everywhere. And meanwhile, Tristana's just been free to do whatever she wanted for the past, like, two minutes. Oh, man.
Yeah, it's fun in a way, so I'm not, you know, whatever. It's just that uh, the problem when it's a clown fiesta and you're already behind, the likelihood is you're going to get further behind. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. In the middle of a team fight. It's eight and one. Ugh. The problem that we're going to have is if thresholds is exhaust always for me, then I won't do much this game. Like, you know, I'm an assassin, you know. That should be a kill. No, oh, Thresh Lantern's coming. Me out of mind. Is there, yeah. I was like, there must be vision in our jungle if Thresh is like near this area. Another one there. An obvious. Um, Tristis is gonna split? Okay. How strong is she? Infin She's got two complete items. There is no way I'm 1v1ing that, is there? Or is there a... That's the problem with me not knowing Kane that well. Can I beat that? I don't I don't know. May maybe? Maybe not. Someone right now is shouting, No, Huz, don't do it. You can't. Again, I don't know. I don't know how much damage I do. Um... Oh, again. Oh, wait, what? They went over the mines. Uh, they just got so much more control. Oh, this is gone in like one auto attack. Um. Uh, Yorick, hello, bud. That was a bad bard cue. Man hook. No. We haven't got people. Imagine if people were here, Lux combo and stuff. Just no one's around. Oh, if that hit. No, I'm dead. Another exhaust. Another heal. I don't know what the bard's doing, man. If he landed that Q, but he just kind of whiffed it. Ugh. God damn. At least he's sorry for it. But yeah, a lot of people, again, sometimes there is a disconnect between what the audience is seeing and like what the people are in Diamond are thinking. The bard has mucked up a lot this game. And you guys may not see that, and that's fine. But, you know, he wouldn't be apologizing if he was doing fine. Put it that way. And yeah, he's he's mucked up quite a lot, quite a lot. Oh, well, everybody has, to be fair. Um, yeah, twelve deaths in the bot lane. Yorick's done okay, but I think a lot of what what's happened to the Yorick is that you know, he's kind of been baited into a like you know bigger fights that he should just back off and then just gets killed. But in the one v one, I think he's done fine, which is good. Ah, good kill. They kill the Trist. Damn. Uh, they get a tower and they kill Tristana. They do get the thingy on Zack. Zack has got the Rift Herald. And I'm going to go top lane. Oh, then they overstayed. There's no reason for them to overstay. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Right, let's just try and get myself as farmed as possible again. If in doubt... Do well yourself. Get strong yourself. That's all you really can do. Um, I don't know how much it's going to help, but yeah. And does she want that? Okay. Yeah, Arden isn't actually going to be useful when your AD carry isn't very strong. And Arden, I don't think, is an amazing item on Bard. Like, it's a really good, like, Janna or Karma item. But. Bard doesn't shield. And half of what Ardent does is shielding, right? If I'm not mistaken. And yes, I do know they did Baron. Uh, yeah, shield power. Your heals and shields. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We're just gonna have to tunnel. Oh, tunnel? Turtle. There we go. And just hope that we can get a pick. Uh, with like, say if we Lux get somebody. Like, th this is not good. This is really bad. Uh, you need to like, go from range. Because it's just not going to work. And now they're gonna have aggro in top lane. So there's just a lot of common basic mistakes happening. That's a nice combo there. Which is, that's what we wanted. But not an open team fight that they're just simply going to lose outright. Because now look at our base. Uh, nice picks. The enemy team obviously do get an advantage from it because they, you know, take out that. But it's not the end of the world. There are some kills there to give my team some strength that they didn't have before, which is good. I think I'm just going to go a bit like solo split e-push for a while and just try to get farm. You know, you can see the farm difference between me and Zack is starting to build. I want that to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Problem we have. does QSS doesn't throw me out, does it? No. I think I tried that out in a video that I was against Kane. Does QSS throw Kane out of you? And I don't think you do because it's not a suppression. You just kind of exist. I don't care about that dragon. Uh, I'm not going to split push any more than that though. Because I don't want to just suicide. Close. Really close. Uh... What? Where did Yorick go? Yor did y Yorick literally teleport from there to there? I think he did. hi -oh! Come to me, my pretties. Oh, that's a very big Cho'Gath. Alright, Trist went straight into me, which is great. Does he still have exhaust, you reckon? Oh my god, he flashed literally into his own... It was a really smart play. Worth it for us, though. He flashed, or whatever he did, into his own team. So then I was basically teleported into the middle of the enemy team. They, they should have this. As long as they can position correctly. Uh, they're just flashing after the Jinx. And she's not strong enough. And Lux doesn't do a lot of damage. Keep her going. Q. That Cho'Gath is so tanky. He's not dead. 60 health. And also Bard died. How did Bard die? Somehow Bard died. This game. Okay. Okay. That only to my um. And my blade. I guess I just do that. Can I kill you? If I can kill the Trist, it's a really big deal. Kill the mine. Build the mine. Free the mine. But I don't have ult. I nearly have ult. I think I'm gonna go for it. Cause why not? Cause it, you know. Oh, well, that kind of ruins my plan. So buggy! Jinx got caught. We all got caught. GG. Damn, this game was just too rough. <coughs> It's okay, though. Uh, yeah. I've actually got higher deaths than I would want, but when you've got a cane... It's 2, 5, and 8. That's not a terrible score. But 9 deaths, 6 deaths, 9 deaths, 7 deaths. 137 farm, and your laners have, uh, you know, even farm to you. It's just not been a, a great game. And that's okay. It happens. It's fine. Um, no. But yeah. It, it happens. Like, Aurelian didn't even farm that well, nor did Cho. Like, not me there wasn't much farm going on. It was just they had the advantage when grouped. Um... A...
No! Again, the exhaust! That exhaust has ruined my day in <laughs> this game. Oh, man. But anyway, that's Kane, though. Again, I like the champion in his base mechanics. Um... Ooh, close. Do I think Darkin would have been better this game? Maybe, but the, I, I don't think whatever choice I made would have determined if we went on this, lost this game. I'm going to be honest. But Darkin probably would have been slightly better because of how tanky the Cho'Gath and the Zack got. But saying that, that means I probably would never have got the kill on Trist or someone else that I got. So it's like one of those situations that's like, it's a good thing, but then also a bad thing. And you don't really know what would have been better. It, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um... But yeah. Uh, was anybody honorable? Uh, Lux kind of did nothing, like, bad. But that doesn't mean she was honorable. Yeah, I'm just going to skip it for now. Um, let's see how much damage we did, anyway. Um, so we went 3-6, unfortunately, 8. Uh, a lot of, obviously, a lot of deaths. And a lot of those deaths were built up when, you know, we were grouping. And then the enemy team, by that point, were very strong. Uh, and again, it's just one of those lessons, and again, it's a very repetitive lesson, especially to these bot lane. If, if this Jinx and this Bard were watching this video, all I would say to them is learn how to play passive. Learn that you don't need to go aggressive, or learn that you can just kind of limit your deaths by playing a better in a better way, and then you wouldn't have had a stupidly Fred Tristana coming out of lane phase, and that would have made this game a lot more easy. Um, it, you just make it harder for yourselves if you just keep on feeding, obviously. Uh, but anyway, that was the first loss in promo. I forgot we were actually in promo to Diamond. I uh, get a B plus, 368, uh, 137 farm, damage done. Uh, I'm an assassin, so you're not expecting crazy high numbers in damage dealt. Obviously, you're assassin wise, so you go in, do damage, and that's it. And obviously, we, we didn't even do that much there. So that's going to be it. Unfortunately, another loss. Uh, but. Well, another loss. A, a loss. Um, but yeah, uh, Climb to Master might be back tomorrow. Again, it depends on the, the vote that you guys did. Um, and also probably the comment section. Uh, but if you liked it and you want to see more Kane, hopefully in a bit of a better situation that we're actually allowed to do assassin -y things. Because, you know, we jump in alone, get exhausted. Tristana also heals. They're not dying. And also then my team isn't with me. There's a lot of that stuff. Obviously, again, just to say I could have played better. I, I'm still not 100% with Kane, obviously. Uh, nobody is going to be 100% with Kane yet. Um, but I see the potential of him in a few aspects. So, yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time.